So we're going to show you the completed job before we actually get into the video. This is about 1,200 square feet and as you can see we did the driveway, we did the courtyard. We just want to go over some of the details with you before we actually get going on the teaching part of it. So in her driveway she actually had this ribbon in it already and we made it green and brown. Then over here we wanted to do a matching line here with the green and brown in it so we actually had to do a cut in the concrete. We actually made it deep enough for a board to stick in it, a painter's board which we'll actually show you in the video so you can get familiar with that stuff. We always tape this stuff down out here which you'll actually see in the videos. We move the rocks back so we don't get any of the rocks and then push the rocks back. You always want to make sure that you tell your clients not to drive on their driveways for at least seven days um, after you've done the job and no standing water. The sealers curing up and big heavy cars can weight down, um, can uh, uh, peel the sealer off if it hasn't cured properly. So I'm going to show you the rest of the job. So right here she actually had a lot of these grooves already in it so we decided to play off of them. So what we did is we actually ran boards while we were doing the job and we put a green in the border and then we splashed brown over the top of that to give it a really uh, cup of patina kind of old rustic kind of look. So this is actually green lawn by Kamiko and this is actually uh, cola by Kamiko, both boosted with pure muritic acid. They say to mix it about one to one, which is what we did, but then we also boosted it about three shots of muritic acid um, per those two gallons. So as you can see, this is kind of what happens when you get the brown and the green in it. You get a really neat old look. This kind of stuff usually hardly ever takes the colors super well. So you just kind of want to let your clients know up front that, hey, we're not really sure how these uh, facings are going to turn out. We did the best that we could with them. Now, right here, she actually didn't have the line in. And again, we cut the line in ourselves so that we could use a board and keep the green brown that goes and follows the line around it. Up in the front, she actually had us do some different kind of art. So what we did is we put in our ivy, which we're actually going to show you on the video. We sprayed the whole thing with cola and then went over it with the green lawn. Or actually it was jade. It was jade by a, a QC. We put in a standard um, medallion, chipped in several different colors. I think it was faded terracotta some ambers, some blues, some greens. We'll show you all that to you in the video. Um, the uh, saw that we use to cut these circles is by a company called Engravicrete. Um, it gives you a center point and then you can actually cut these circles perfect. It's a tool that we have in our arsenal. If not, you just want to put down a piece of uh, uh, put down a piece of glass that's a circle or cut out a circle and get your, get your lines in there nice and perfect. Um, so we ran the ivy all the way through the entry. Again, we followed the lines and put in all the green. Now over here is a new look that we started to work with here, which we're going to show you in the video, and it's a cobblestone look. Our client actually is putting a, a half fountain on this wall, so we wanted to give it like a base, if you will. So what we did is we drew in the cobblestone, and then we zec bladed out the middle, and then we took a diamond blade and actually cleaned up that edge when we were done. Now the hope was is that it would look different in the grout and sure as anything it did. It's actually a really neat technique, one that you're going to see on this video. The last thing I want to show you is over here they're actually putting in a table you know to smoke their cigars, drink their wine and enjoy their courtyard. So this is actually um, a black ring, an adobe ring and then we did green and ironite in the middle of it. We're actually going to show you how to take care of that. You basically spray the green, put in the ironite, and then spray the green over it so that it actually melts into it. And then the next day you shovel off the ironite before you start putting water on it and residuing it. And then you get that kind of effect out here. So I hope you enjoy yet another Floor Seasons video, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.